Hi guys, welcome to the ANOVA Two Ways question and answer video. Right, in this uh, video, I'm going to discuss one question only regarding ANOVA Two Ways. It's quite extensive. Uh, I might talk too fast. If you find it, uh, if I'm talking too fast, you can slow it down, slow the video down. Uh, if you don't have, uh, I don't think YouTube have, does it? Anyways, uh, what you can do, you can repeat whatever you missed and you can refer to the annotation on the PDF that is accompanied to with this um, uh, YouTube video. Right, so let's go. Uh, on the next slide, I give you as well the uh, uh, formulas and this is the question. Ah, I've written something on top of it. So. Let's erase them. Let's clear them up first. I also have uh, some blank pages that I'm going to write down on the notes. Three of them, right? And the rest are the uh, question, uh, the answers. But maybe it's quite direct. So I'm going to go through bit by bit the question. Ready? Okay. So this is about a yield of chemical process, right? A yield of chemical process. The two most important variables to be measured or taught the first thing, uh, the first time they do this experiment is pressure and temperature. So usually in the final exam, I will put A and B on the uh, certain factors. So I didn't put it here, so I put it now. A is for temperature and B is for pressure. All right? Three levels for each factor. That means I will have A equals to 3, B equals to 3 levels. All right, and here is also important, a factorial experiment. Now, since these have two factors, and one interaction, Therefore, it's ANOVA, ANOVA 2 is, right? What else? It also have two replicates. Right, therefore, N is 2. Replication. Okay, two replication. So here I, do, I have pressure, so pressure will be B. Yeah, where is it? Pressure will be B. And let's say the unit is kilopascal. Temperature is A. And the unit is degree Celsius. Alright. So I have three levels for pressure. And also three levels for temperature. For each of these combinations, let's see. 15, uh, uh, 150 degrees Celsius with 200 kilopascal, I'll get these results. So each of this group will have two repetitions, right? So I have 9, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 repetition, we have 18 runs. Alright, right, we have 18 runs. Okay, so what should we do first? You always ask me this. What should we do first? Easy. What you need to do is to see the formula sheet. Oh my god. And then, first step. I will write on the next page, right, this empty space here, the first step in the blue ink. Maybe make it bigger. Step number one. Right? Total the groups. If you don't know what I mean, please refer to my ANOVA 2 is video for your reference. Alright, total the groups. Let's do this. So maybe we can do on this section, right? So I'll have uh, here P, oh let's make it picker. P and T, right? And for P, I'll have 200. Is it too big? Oh, yeah, it's too big. Mm -hmm. Let's make it just 3. Right? So I have P and T. 
150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, and this one will be your grandfather. No, grand total. Okay. Let's make it cleaner. I'm going to switch to green pen. So, I want to say by total the group, that means this one. 90.4 plus 90.2 and you will get the green pen 180.6 so why don't we make this one thicker as well I'm a bit OCD on this one 180.6 right similarly to all of the groups 180.4 181.6 Alright, for this one, 181.3, 181.1, 181 181.7, and this one, 180.6, 180 just that, and 180.5. And afterwards, step two. Oh. Total for A and B. So A will be our, our column. In this case, column. And B is our row. Right? Is it? No, 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 no. A is the temperature, right? So temperature is row and B is column. Alright. So let's Take another color. It's 1.5. All right. So it is 5, 4, 2.5, 5, 4, 1.5, 5, 4, 3.4. Okay. These are the for the temperature. Right. So all this, you got this value. All right. Let's not mess that one. Oh, it's too high. Uh, you get what I mean. Let's change this. 150, 160, 170. Let's take light blue again. And this one will be 542.2 and 544.1. Five four one point one, and the grand total. Let's make it red, and a big car. One six two seven point four. That's the grand total. That's first step, and second step. Step three. Grand total. All right, done. Okay, next we must find the sum of squares. I always like to start, like I said previously, with S, S, total. So you have to take one by one each of these numbers and square them. So what you will get, you can write the whole uh, numbers or you can just do it like this. 90.4 squared plus 90.2 squared plus 90.7 squared plus 90.6 squared plus 90.2 oh, squared plus and I am lazy I'm going to use this dot 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 Take the final numbers, maybe just three of the final numbers, 
90.9 squared plus 90.4 squared plus 90.1 squared plus close them minus the grand total 1627.4 squared divided by 18 you get a positive value of 12978 right All right. All right. So next is to calculate SSE. Oh, I didn't. SSE. 1 over 3 times 2, a square bracket. So for A, you take all the column rows, column, right? Column. Oh, sorry, rows, sorry, rows. Um, is 542 squared plus 541.5 squared plus 543.4 squared. Close it. Grand total 1627.4 squared divided by 18. You have... 0 0.3011 and this is a positive value okay it's small but still positive let's do ssb ssb 1 over 3 times 2 now for b you take the columns 542.2 squared 54 4.1 squared plus 541.1 squared minus grand total 1627.4 squared divided by sample number you get 0 0.7678 which is also a positive value next is SSAB S what's that SSAB 1 over 2 and 2 is your repetition all right take all the circles that we have done just now all this means all the total of the groups so here you have 180.6 squared plus 181.3 squared plus 180.6 squared plus if you are lazy and want to cut your time shorter take the last two 181.7 squared plus 180.5 squared close it minus the grand total minus the SSA and SSB right SSA plus SSB all right and you will have this value and it is still positive this is the SSA done Let's cal calculate MSA. This is SSA divided by A minus 1. Right? Divided by A minus 1. And you have... Oh, oh, oh. my pen is alive. Uh, a is for temperature, right? 0 0.3011 and 2, you've got 0 0.1506. MSB, SSB, B minus 1, and you'll get 
zero point seven six seven eight divided by two. All right, you get zero point three eight three nine. M S E B S S E B. Down here is A minus one, B minus one. You get zero point zero six eight 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 times four. Two times two is four. And you get zero point zero one seven two two. And finally for MS S S E A B N minus one. Right? A is three. B is 3, N is 2, 2 minus 2, so it's 9. 0 0.16002, 9.0, And, right, that's all. Good. Let's calculate for F0. M zero A is M S E M S E eight point four seven F O B M S B M S E twenty one point five nine two sorry F O A B M S A B divide by M S error zero point nine six eight five. Okay, calculation done. Let's use light blue for comment. This one is more than one, more than one, more than oh, sorry, less than one. Therefore, it is happens, happens less likely to happen. It's almost 1, but it's 0 0.0, 0 0.9, right? So, this number, 1. Next step, you need to find H0 except or H1 except. So, from the table f 5% 2 and 9 right so you have 2 you have 2 and 4 so you need to find f uh, 5% let's use 5% 2 and 9 another one is f 5% Four and nine. Okay. Let's go to our uh, tables. Statistical table. Two nine. Let's go to this one. Yes, this is ANOVA table. Um, two and nine. Two and nine is four point two six. Four point two six. And four and nine, three point six three. Okay, so this one, let's take a red color. Uh, for MS, uh, FOA and FOB, this is more than four to six, four to six, H one. Except this one will be less than three six three H zero except that means this is significant and not significant. All right, so. FOA, FOB happens and significant. Don't change. However, FOAB is less than 1. It's 0.9. That means almost have interaction. 
and it is not significant because he is accepted. Therefore, we must investigate because we want interaction to happen. Why? Why it doesn't happen? Why? Why? So, we have to do interaction graph. Okay, on the next page, I will build the interaction graph. So, we have two... Uh, uh, we have two graphs to be built. Sometimes I ask, please draw a graph or sketch a graph, temperature against pressure or pressure against temperature. Uh, since I didn't say anything, I didn't mention anything, let's build both of them, right? So I'm going to split this graph table into two parts. On the left side, I am going to build, let's increase the size, um, pressure P versus T. And here, T versus P. Why I have to build both? Because I don't know which one of these uh, two factors doesn't uh, contribute to, a, to the no interaction or less likely interaction to happen. Alright, so we'll do temperature versus uh, pressure and pressure versus temperature graph. Okay, so pressure versus, uh, versus temperature graph means pressure is your y-axis, x will be your temperature. What should we do? So first, you need to go back to the table that we have done just, just, uh, just now. Which table I'm talking about this, yeah? Right, this table, you need to divide by 2 or you need to find the average. Which one? This one. Divide by 2, 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 divide by 2. Right, you have to do that. So let's back up a bit because I'm going to use this for your reference so all of them divide by 2 so what we have is because we are going to do pressure against temperature so my table will be something like this oh. make it smaller pressure press and I write here too oh, not enough space then Okay, let's delete this, make it bigger, okay, here, P215, two 230, this will be your T, 150, 160, 170, so I'll take the one uh, there inside, 181, oh, sorry, 180.6 sorry 0.6 divided by 2 you'll get 90.3 so all of them divide by 2 because we have two replicates right so this is 90.2 this is 90.6 this one will be 90.65 this one is 90.55 90.85 this one is 90.3 90.0, 90.25. So from all of these results, right? All of these results, you can see that it starts around 90 to 91, right? 90 to 91. So our response graph can be uh, make it bigger. Right. Oh, it's too big. Like this and like this and this will be our temperature right and this response will be our pressure okay so let's divide them in two points so we'll start with 90 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0.9 right 0.9 okay so here the temperature wise it will be uh, 150 160 170 I'm gonna plot them so here I'm gonna use colors colors yeah so the legend will be red 
a circle red for 200 kilopascal a circle blue let's use the white blue light blue this one for 215 kilopascal and a green circle 230 kilopascal or if you like you can also use a square triangle and a square eh, uh, sorry that's a circle a circle circle okay let's take a red color 150 so in this one 150 uh, of uh, temperature and plotted for 200 is 90.3 so 90.3 is somewhere here so I'm going to draw a circle here red circle then a uh, triangle is 90.2 Oh, sorry, not yet. This one. 90.65. Maybe in the middle of 6 and 7 there. My God, what's that sound? What is that? What, that's noise. And green one. 90.3. Which is all in the same place. So it is... I have to... I have to beg your pardon. It's a construction happens. Just when I was cooking, and now it's construction. Okay, so at 160 degrees, the red one is 90.2. 90.2 is here. I'm going to draw a circle. And a light blue is 95.5. So somewhere in here, a square, uh, a triangle, right? A triangle, and the green is ninety. So here is a ninety, and here is our square. Red, one hundred and seventy, ninety point six. So it's somewhere here. So I'm gonna draw a circle, and a blue ninety point eight five. So above here, All right? More or less. And the last one is 90.25, somewhere here. Dun, 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 dun. There. Cool. What I need to do next is connect the dots. All right. So, I'm going to use a dark blue to tell you the story. From here, you can see the highest point for pressure is this one. So the best combination is two one oh it's too big. Let's reduce this. Best combination is two one five and a hundred and seventy. So this experiment to get the best experiment, it will be based on if you use two hundred kilopascal of pressure at one hundred and seventy degrees Celsius, you will have the best experiment. Okay, number two. Okay, number two. Do you see any interaction? Yes, but not. Both of them. It's over here. It is almost happening. That is why almost. Interaction. That is why F zero O A is A B is zero point nine. Nine almost, right? Uh, if you are hoping to have an exper uh, an interaction, so you can suggest on your script to extend this. 
So let's say I'm going to use this one and this one. So what are these? These are extension for interaction. That means you can suggest a new there are degrees Celsius. Maybe around 140. Then you have interaction somewhere in between 140 and 150 degrees Celsius. So now we know that it is actually temperature who's not giving you interaction. How to prove that? To prove that we can use pressure, uh, sorry, temperature against pressure interaction graph. Okay, for temperature against pressure, you can use this table and duplicate it here. So you will write pressure and temp. Oh, sorry. Now this the other way around. This one will be your temperature 150, 160, 170. This will be your pressure to uh, what is it again? 200, 215, 230. So I'm gonna use uh, is it uh, red? Oh, it's red. So the red will be, so you just copy paste, um, you will have here is 90.3, 90.65, just rearranging of these numbers, right, 90.2, 90.55, 90.6, 90.7, 90.8, 90.85, 90.25. Okay, then you can build your graph. So let's build it here. Uh, make it thicker. P and T. Okay, let's use red. Temperature of this is 150 and this light blue is is 160, the triangle 160 and the square 173 degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius. Okay, for P, it will be... 200 right 200 215 and 230 so we plot this 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 okay so red one so at 200 it's supposed to be 90.3, so a circle here. And then, uh, and then 90.2, 90.2, so just a triangle here. And then 90.6, there's a, a square here. Right, for 215, it is 90.65 so somewhere here and then 90.55 for light blue 90.55 somewhere here and the green one uh, 90.85 so somewhere here so it's a square square here right take the red again 230 we have 90.3, so it's a square here, a circle here, sorry. And then the triangle, triangle is um, 90. So triangle down here. And the last one is a circle, eh, sorry, a square, 90.25. So there's a square. All right, so connect the dot. Okay, the highest point is this. 
it belongs to best combination if you want to go for the best it will be similar to the other graph it should be the same it must be the same 215 kilopascal plus 100 and 70 degrees Celsius okay the interaction happens here interaction between what's that 230 is between it's over there interaction I just put here interaction happens there therefore Interaction given by pressure. Here, interaction not given by temperature. So maybe because both of them, both of them happens. Uh, T and P and they are significant so you can suggest if we want to have interaction because both of them are significant you can reduce the temperature and you have interaction around here okay let's delete that one okay what else other comments that you can write down uh, maybe I can just say it verbally uh, for so if you want to have a best combination uh, of, of reaction if the question asks then you can say 215 kilopascal and 170 degrees Celsius is the best temperature and pressure for this kind of experiment for reaction. Yeah? Okay. Interaction happens. But take a look at this interaction. I'm going to use a, a, a blue pen. This one. Interaction here and interaction there. Both of them have negative gradient. Okay, negative gradient. This one as well. Look, if you increase or reduce the temperature, the graph will have negative gradient. What does it mean? Negative gradient means your results will drop. Okay, a good yield will be linear graph going up. That means you have a good yield. So be very careful. The interaction happens, yes, by the expense of reduction in the overall experiment if you really want interaction to happen then reduce the temperature if you like but if you don't want to say that oh from here i can say that there is interaction but if i play with pressure then you have to so i can leave this experiment b there's nothing wrong with it even though on the calculation wise the interaction is less likely to happen less likely to happen because temperature doesn't contribute in the interaction pressure did Okay, pressure did. If you want to leave it be, then leave it be because by reducing the temperature, you have a negative gradient if you're looking at the graph. But technically, if those who have studied uh, chemical reaction or any reaction, you must have pressure and temperature increase. A reduction of pressure and temperature will eventually reduce the uh, time of the reaction, the intensity of the reaction. Okay, you cannot just simply reduce things, especially pressure and temperature. That's scientific wise. Statistically, look at the gradient of the crowd. Alright, that's all for another two weeks. I know it's very long. Thank you for um, uh, watching this video. I'm looking forward for you to watch my next video. Okay, bye.